Hello Lollipoppers and welcome to another episode of Lollipop Speed Art. I'm your host Lollipop01 MLE here today and today continuing on with the realistic portraits going back to that I decided to do Jane Mansfield. One of the most well-known Hollywood actresses of the 50s and 60s, a sex symbol, a film actress, as well as portraying going into theater and television, a singer and a nighttime entertainer, and an early playboy playmate. Eh? Although her film career was actually short-lived because she would tragically die in an automobile accident at the age of 34 in June of 1967. This month on April 19th would have been her 88th birthday if she were alive today. So although her career was short-lived, she won a, she did have several box office successes, won a Theater World Award and a Golden Globe, and was one, the first major film actress in the post silent era to have a nude scene in Promise, Pro, Promises, Promises. Now before I continue, here is the photo references, for, well the reference I used for this piece. And yes, I had to fix the proportions a bit because as it turned out, I was kind of messing up on the proportions a little bit. Now anyways, she took her professional name from her first husband who was Paul Mansfield, whom they had a daughter with named Jane Marie. And though they divorced, she did remarry two more times, divorced two more times, and had four more children. So that would be three sons and a daughter. So five mm -hmm. children. <laughs> Oh, anyways, let's get back to the whole thing. She, she was a natural brunette, and she dyed her hair platinum blonde, which I actually struggled here in the coloring because I, well, I couldn't get the proper platinum blonde because I was using Prismacolors. I guess I was supposed to keep it, like, light and whatnot. But anyways, one of the big things here was that she along with Marilyn Monroe and several other actresses popularized the bom blonde bombshell. She was one of the early ones and after basically it's the whole like curvaceous physique, light colored hair, perceived lack of intelligence. That's called the blonde stereotype or busty blonde, blonde babe, or as in today's standards, dumb blonde. But she actually did have a high IQ though. So that kind of like takes that out of the equation, if you know what I mean. And so anyways, between her second and third marriages, she discovered that she was pregnant by her second husband, uh, Mickey Hargitay. But before the courts can rule it valid, they announced they were still together, and on Ju January 23rd, 1964, they had a daughter, Mariska Hargitay, who we all know, we all know her as Olivia Benson in Law & Order SVU Special Victims Unit. And of course, they did, again, the courts did recognize the divorce just a few months later. Now anyways... Um, the final piece is up on my DeviantArt page at lollipop one mle as well as, of course, all the other, my other social medias are linked down below. Ring the bell for notifications, subscribe to my channel. I post videos like this usually twice a month, Fridays and Saturdays, but this month is art month. I'm doing videos tw at least twice a week, hopefully. I'm trying to stick to that. Oh, and the other thing about Mariska just like her mother, she had won some awards for her work on the, sh especially for her her role in Law and Order SVU, including a Golden Globe for Best Actress in 2005 and the People's Choice Award for Drama TV Star of the Year in 2018. Now, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode and remember, be easy, all lollipoppers.